Hi everyone, as part of the Millsoft developer uh, training course, in this video we are going to see what Git and GitHub are, uh, what we use them for, and we are going to download and install Git and see the main Git commands, and also we are going to create a GitHub account and a GitHub repository. Then we are going to see how to push your Millsoft project to GitHub. So the first question is, what is Git? Git is a version control system. There are different version control system tools out there, but Git is the most commonly used one. But what is version control? Version control means management of changes of computer programs, files, and so on. So you can go back in time and retrieve the version at that time. So if you if you have version control system and when you make changes to your code, since it keeps track of the different changes, then you know what you did when and you can go back in time and retrieve uh, the code you had at that time. For example, if you make some kind of mistake, then you may you can retrieve your, your previous git is free it is also it is also easy to learn there are a couple of commands that we have to know uh, so i will show you the different commands we need to know for this class and then what is github you may ask so we use github to host our version control, control system using git so git is for version control whereas github is to make it available on the internet so it is a hosting system and we can create uh, public free uh, version repositories or uh, paid private version repositories so repository in this case means like a, a project or a folder you can you can say so in, the, in this class we are going to create the public free version repository and we will push our Microsoft project to that repository so that uh, it helps us to to build a, port a portfolio and also to show our skills to hiring managers and if for some reason also our machine crashes then we can retrieve our Microsoft projects from uh from our github account so the first thing is we are going to download git and just click to this link or just search uh, git download and it will take you to here and download i i have windows for so for windows i will click this one but you have for also for mac and linux as well and my system is 64 bit so i download this 64 bit git for windows setup it will download it i'm downloading it to the, the downloads folder then simply double click it settings just click next next until the end then it will install it for you so next 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 install okay now installation is done click finish now if you come to any folder here if i just right click here you see, you see i have git gui and git bash so git bash is where you write commands Whereas the Git GUI is like drag and dropping uh, either of these things, either Git GUI or Git Bash. Okay, so now Git is installed because I see I, I have, when I right click in here, I see Git GUI and Git Bash that shows that Git has been installed. Or you can, can also mm, go to CMD and just write uh, Git dash version. Oh, so it should be double dash maybe so you see the git version also so we have installed git appropriately the next thing is let's go create a github account so to go uh, to create a github account i will simply go to github.github.com then if you don't have an account click sign up uh, Okay, I will put my email. I have just a fake email here that I created, Yahoo email that I created for this tutorial. So I will provide that. Uh, 
continue create password some dummy password enter username I don't want to receive any product. Then click this. Please solve this puzzle to verify that you are a human. Click start to solve that puzzle. Then it says pick the spiral galaxy. This one looks spiral. Another spiral is this one. Now account should be should it will create my the account for me now. Okay, it says then you will get um, a code to your email. And go get that code and put it here. So we'll come here, and the code is here. And okay, this is a code. I'll copy it from here and bring it here and paste it. Then here, what is it saying? Yes, this configuration you can just. Uh, skip personalization it should be fine so skip personalization now it is creating an account for me so you see this one is my github account and i as you can see if i go to if you go to this icon on the top right and go to your repository since i don't have any repository since i don't have any repository zero repositories and to create a repository you just click new if you are here or if you are in here also on the previous page you can you have create repository also either way should be fine so now let me go ahead and create a repository by clicking create repository and i will call it send data mil esb so each mil soft project will have its own repository and it, it is good if you add mil esb to each project name and here add a short description so this is my description this application uh, send this xlsx data in the requested format and select public here and check also this add a readme file and click uh, create a repository now a repository has been added for me as you can see inside it there is no any Microsoft project only the readme file that i added and come to your machine and i will create a folder and call it github so under that folder all the Microsoft projects that i will push to github will be under that folder so double click this folder and in that folder right click and git click git bash here so as i said you can use the uh, gui version and the bash version either of them uh, but the bash version the, uh, as a developer it is good if you get used to uh, coding there are a couple of commands that we are going to see so it is we are in this tutorial we are going to use git bash but you can also try git gui so git bash here so as you can see it it opens this window in this location which is in this github uh, folder then in here we want to clone the repository we just created so in your uh, in your uh, github repository go to the to the uh, <coughs> pardon me go to the um, repository created and under code here there is this url select uh, copy that url uh, either by double clicking here or by clicking these two rectangles so copy that url so we want to clone it that means we want to create a copy of it in our machine so click uh, type here git clone and git clone means create a copy then you provide the url of your repository git clone if i do like this now it has cloned it if you come here it has been cloned here uh, here as you can see uh, then um, once we clone it like this we want to we want to change to that folder and we use we use change the directory using cd now we are under github as you can see here from this path we are under the github folder but we want to go to the send data microsoft repository so you do cd then send tap takes me to there now i want to there are a couple of 
list of projects that I want to push to GitHub. The first one is uh, the send data. So which one is this? Let me close this one first. It is this one, send xlsx is this one. So I'm double clicking it to open it. You can you can see where it is located in your machine by simply double clicking it and go to properties properties then it tells me where it shows me where it is located the workspace so the workspace is in here so just click this to see it in the system explorer so this is the uh, the project is located in here simply double click here go to this and select all these files and copy them and take them to the github repository and paste them in here with the readme file because you want we want to push them to github so here you can come and check now a couple of commands you want you have to know are so cd is for changing directory from one location to another git clone is for copying creating a copy of your github repository now we have git status to check the status of your repository if there are any changes so git status it shows me these files are untracked there are files that are untracked that git is not tracking so to tell git to track them we do git add then we can specify the file name one by one but rather than doing that to track all of them we just to do git add then period like this now it will track all of them you see now the color will change when we check git stats now it will change to green that means it is tracking them but they have they are not yet committed and git commit uh, saves the files in git so we do git commit and with git commit we provide a short message of what the changes are what we are committing so this one i will the short message that i will add here will be send this xlsx data in the requested format now uh, git is tracking the files locally and it all it also has saved them in my local machine but it, it is not it has not yet pushed it to github so to push it to github we use git push basically now after that i push it to push it i use git push and since i created the account for the first time it will ask me for authentication so click git push and it brings this window so i will sign in using the browser here there are different ways to sign in including token and so on but just i will click this default sign in with your browser so if i do this it takes me to here uh, that means it has i guess it has signed it because uh, i have already it's pretty not working i have already i have already i am already signed into my account so this should work i think yeah as you can see uh, it has pushed it so the send xlx data in the requested format uh, milsoft project has been pushed to github and if i get back to this window here as you can see everything has been pushed so it says 100 percent uh, completed if we see this 100 percent it means everything has been pushed and you can come to your uh, uh, github account under your repository see the changes so we can see all this data all these files have been uh, pushed to the repository and there is this readme file the uh, readme file is here the initial commit and this is a short description we just wrote with the machine with a git commit minus n so this is our first uh, milsoft project now let's create another repository of another project the same way go here repositories new uh, so from the different milsoft uh, projects we created uh let's see last time we created this data transformation so that transforms data from one format to other different formats first i will close the one that is open close project and i'll click this to open it and i want to push it so 
let me go to properties it is in this location so you can see the it in system explorer by the thing clicking that but first let me make sure i'm pushing the right project so if i expand this yes so we have we were looking at the use of subflows so we have scatter gather and we have flow reference three flow references each flow reference transforms the data to the appropriate format and writes it to the first subflow here to csv the second one to json the third one to xlsx so the input in this case is uh, xml file so i can push this one to github it is a good project so you go to the uh, you go to where it is just right click here and go to properties and in system explorer it is this one send uh, okay data transformation so first let me create the repository so data transformation uh, mule esb this project short description uh, transforms xlsx data to uh, csv json and uh, oh i think the input is xml xml to json and xlsx so mm. this is a good short description then make this public and to check this add readme file and create repository now this repository has been created so i want to clone it copy the url here by uh, clicking this two rectangles or by double clicking here either way is fine then under this github folder we have pushed this one i want to create another one so just uh, right click here and choose git bash here opens this window the same thing with our, the first to, to, to create a copy of our repository we use git clone and the url we want to clone we paste it now as you can see it has been cloned here then we have to change we have to change our directory to the data transformation mill esp uh, github repository to do that we use cd for change uh, directory cd then data then I, you can spell it out or simply click tab and it auto completes it so i'm here as you can see in here we have only the readme file but we want to push the data transformation mill soft project so i go here open double click that and copy all these files copy them and then go to the github folder the data transformation mill esp repository and paste it here these files will be pasted so here now i can check the status here git status it will tell me that these files uh, are not being tracked so as you can see these are untracked files uh, and to track them i do git uh, git add the first one git add and all to add all of them git add just period here it adds all of them now if you check the git status the color will change to green it is uh, uh, tracking all these files now we want to commit them so with commit git commit minus m then a short message of what this project is so i will say this uh, transforms xml data to csv json and xlsx formats okay the last one is now git push so if you do git push as you can see you see here 100 percent it has pushed all of it and if you come here to the browser this is our data transformation with esp so if you refresh one thing we have, we have two repositories you see we have two repositories we see each repository here and we have a short this is the the message we wrote 
for each one of them. So the data transformation with ASP uh, imposter is this one. As you can see, we have pushed all our code here. And if we make any changes also, I may come here, like this one, for example, I can come here and make some changes and push it again. So let's say, for example, in here, under the on new or updated file uh, trigger, uh, okay, I will add a note here. So this is the trigger and it's, it starts the flow when there is new file in the specified folder. For example, so I have this node, so that means this is one change. Then the same way I go to the uh, workspace, the Microsoft workspace, which is this one. Then I go here and copy all these files again. If I come here and go to the GitHub uh, repository, which is this, uh, which is under GitHub, this one, paste them. Then it will ask me, do you want to overwrite it? Yes, uh, replace the files in the destination. Now, we can check what has changed. If I do git status, it will tell me what has changed. So it will tell me that this has been modified. This XML file has been modified. So first I do git add everything, then git commit minus M. The short description I, I want to add here is added a note on the uh, source trigger for example you can say so i added a note then git push uh, if i do like this and to go to the browser it, you can see it has completed pushing it has pushed all of the files all of the changes now you see this are uh, where is the uh, probably it is in here under source main mule this is the data transformation xml file now let me come here and just refresh it and once i refresh it let's see the new uh, commit message I added it should be under source main mule not here oh yeah here or oh, added a new a note on the source trigger so you can see uh, this one is a new one and we see the so the the message we added also and also we can see we can track the different versions here so there is the version history if you click history you can see the different uh, committees this one was committed before for me four minutes and the message at the time for that file was this one Next, the commit is after uh, before one minute, and we have the message is this one. So, like this, you can all your Microsoft projects you can uh, push them to GitHub. And the best practices, it is good if you create a per a repository per project, and uh, add also descriptive uh, kind of uh, message like this short descriptive message that. Uh, at a high level, when you read this short descriptive message, you can understand what that repository is. And also, it is good if you, I think, in this case, since all of them are for Microsoft, those the projects that you are the repositories that you are creating for Microsoft, it is good if you add Mil ESB or Microsoft to each one of them. And by doing this, uh, the the projects that you don't want to lose, the projects that you want to show to hiring managers the projects that you think are good to build your portfolio uh, you can push them like this and when you make any changes also just if you click, if you make any changes here go to the uh, uh, properties and get the uh, workspace in that project and just copy all the files just you can copy all the files in under this and then once you copy them you go to your uh, so the repository cloned under GitHub, under the, under the GitHub uh, folder in this case. So this is a repository cloned. And when there is any change, I come and paste it here.
uh, from from my Millsoft uh, workspace. I copy all the files and paste them here. Then check the status, uh, and then I get just in sequence. You use the commands you use in sequence are simply uh, git add. Always, you, it is good to use git status to check the status. Then these are the commands in sequence: git add, git commit, and git push. So git add is you are telling git to track yeah, the files, and git commit is uh, git saves them in your local in your local machine. They are not yet uh, they are not yet pushed to GitHub with git commit. You have to use git push to push it from your local git to to GitHub. 